Imagine waking up to find yourself stranded on an island with no way off. That is, in effect, what's happened in Vermont, where floodwaters brought by Irene have left 13 towns cut off from the rest of the world, and their water treatment plants have failed. 13 towns where people have no water and no escape. Elsewhere in the storm zone, 2.8 million homes and businesses in 13 states and the District of Columbia still have no electricity. The death toll so far this evening is 44. And have a look at this. This is Patterson, New Jersey. Patterson is a city of 146,000 west of New York. Nearly 1,000 people were rescued there today by watercraft as the Passaic River keeps on rising. It's not expected to crest until this evening. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Wyatt Andrews in Brattleboro, Vermont. As impressive as the damage has been here in Vermont, today the response got more impressive. 500 road crews got very quickly to work, and emergency teams combed these hillsides in all-terrain vehicles looking for residents who had been stranded. So your road was gone. In the town of Jamaica, Catherine Hottengeis and Susanna Maggi were rescued after the road and two bridges that led to their hillside home washed out. You would have had to walk? Yes. Exactly. Yes. For all supplies? Yes. Right. Yes. And it was, not, it was not walkable. The bridges there are gone. There's only one road into Jamaica now. The road leading out of town sits at the bottom of the Ball Mountain Creek. The creek rose so violently on Sunday, it destroyed six houses, including what's left of David Kaneshiro's home. The creek moved over and took out your house? Took out everything, the front porch and the front house. At least 260 roads in Vermont now look something like this, washed out from the side or sliced in two. To give you an idea of the scale of work involved just in Jamaica, Vermont, I'm standing where a row of houses used to be. This is an emergency road they built in eight hours. And that creek, the Ball Mountain Creek, engineers plan to move that. The man redirecting the creek is emergency management director Paul Frazier. Fair to say you are moving this creek from there to there. I like the word returning it to where it came from. Yeah, returning it to where it came from. That's right. This immediate all-out effort is what residents call the Vermont Way. In Jamaica, they quite properly asked permission to move the river. They just didn't wait for an answer. You didn't ask permission. Well, we'll apologize later. We, this had to be done. Another homeowner we spoke to who lost his back deck and his barn simply shrugged it off, saying, that's Mother Nature, this is Vermont, we roll with it. 